it's time for a new set of strings. <laughs> running out here so I better unplug her so, um, you know a word of encouragement there uh, out there to you uh, and I'm talking to, you, to all my friends out there uh, I'm saying uh, I like to say hello to Gary out there today and uh, I'd like to say hello to Jason my son out there um, if I, and Casey my son if he uh, just so happens to watch this program and Robert out there my my ex my former boss, who's now my brother in the Lord. I'm excited about that, Robert. Um, anytime that I may uh, receive a new brother in Christ, um, and they receive me, you know, that we're serving the same Jesus Christ who will set as being the judge of all of us. He's going to come back to judge the living and the dead. So how do, you, how do you know who the living are and who the dead are? Well, the truth is that there's no death in Christ. So if you're in Christ, then you're living. Uh, but there is... Uh, the second death will come upon those who are not in Christ. Uh, he's going to impose on them the second death. And that's the one we have to beware. Um, that, you know, that we come up in the, the Bible says that the blessed are those who come up in the first resurrection upon whom the second death has no power. Uh, we don't want to be in the power of the second death. Um, it's going to be a day of gloom for anybody who served any other God except for the one true triune God. Um, the God of Abraham. Now, we say, oh, you know, I've heard some, I've heard speech. Uh, the, Trinity, the word Trinity is not in the Bible. Well, you know, the, uh, the figure and the type of the figure of the Trinity are the three men who appeared to uh, uh, Abraham, and it was apparent that they were angels, angelic beings that appeared. Uh, they were types and shadows of the eternal Triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Oh, uh, now now you're talking about three gods. No, actually, no, one God in three persons, same God in all three. One triune God in three persons. And there are different persons in this trinity because uh, if there weren't, then the Bible would be made of non effect by uh, saying things like that uh, all authority was, had been turned over. And I harp on that a lot. All authority was turned over to the Son. And no man may see the Father or come to the Father except through the Son. There's a division in persons there. Um, so keep that in mind that we're serving one God. And he's a God of love. So here we are starting this uh, Lent season. Um, well, it's going to lead up to our uh, Orthodox uh, version of Easter we call Pascha, um, which is really more in line with the Paschal lamb of the Hebrews when they slaughtered the lamb the night of the Passover of the Lord. The Lord said for them to slaughter a lamb because he was going to visit Egypt with one final plague. The tenth plague was death of the firstborn. And so they were instructed to paint 
the blood on the lintels, the door lintel and the doorposts of their homes. So that the, when the angel came through, he would pass over them, not slay their firstborn. So uh, if we don't have the blood of Christ applied to the lintels, the doorposts and the lintel, then uh, we are in danger. So give yourself to the lamb. Become, put yourself under protection of the blood of the Lamb. Now, every time you go to the church and you partake, partake of that Eucharist, that holy sacrament, you are applying that blood onto the door, lentil, and the posts thereof. Uh, the death angel, uh, we uh, the Bible calls in the book of Revelation, the second death will pass over. And you'll live eternally with the Lord and in the glory of thy Lord. So, glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Again, whole, uh, I call out to uh, people, uh, Brother Ron, I'm praying for you today, that uh, the Lord will uh, put a healing touch on your body. Um, stand upon it. Stand upon the promises of, of the Lord, that you, you, He will, that we are, are prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospereth. Uh, as we continue to grow in the Lord and bear fruit for the glory of the Lord. Um, and we pray that the Lord will bring us to health, and may his will be done today. Amen.